Hi, I'm Danielle Alvarez. I'm the head chef at Fred's here in Paddington. We're a new restaurant that has a menu that changes almost daily. Um, we source a lot of our produce from small local farms in the area and we're standing in what is the restaurant but is also our kitchen in the middle of the room. There's a couple things that inspired the design of this kitchen. Um, a few places that I worked at and also just worked around in Northern California where I spent a lot of my cooking days. Um, one of them is Camino and the other is Chez Panisse, both of which have a big central hearth that is the focal point of the kitchen and not so much in the middle of the dining room like this is, but um, it's still open and it's still something that people really want to see and be a part of. Um, I think when we originally designed this space, it, we were a little bit like, oh my gosh, is this going to be too open? How are people going to respond to this? But it just felt like the right thing for the, you know, the shape of the building being this really long, narrow space. It was kind of the only way we were going to get it in there and get the right proportions. Um, and luckily, I think people are really loving being surrounded by the warmth of the fire. Yeah, cooking in this kind of open way is challenging for a lot of people. I, I would say it's definitely not for everyone. Um, I think that the chefs that are here now that have enjoyed it will be here for a while because it, it is a really rewarding thing to be so close to the people that are eating your food and enjoying it. Um, you get a lot of energy back from people, you know, telling you how much they love things and you get to feel like you're a part of the party almost, you know, you get to feel like you're a part of the night even though you're working, which is really lovely. And I also think it adds an element of um, with each other, we have to be a bit more polite with each other because it's so open and exposed, which is a beautiful thing in a kitchen. The more polite, the better. <laughs> I think the diners have responded really well to having this kind of openness in the kitchen. Um, there is still an element of respect for the space, I think, and you know, people. It's not like people are coming up in the middle of service and interrupting, but you know, they catch you at moments and they love to tell you how much they enjoyed something and they like to ask what's happening and they want to know how you cook something and what ingredient that is, um, which I think is lovely because we're all about just being totally transparent and what we put on the plate here at Fred's is actually quite simple. So it's really nice for people to be able to see everything kind of start to finish, how it happens and you know, there's no smoke and mirrors here. It's all out there, it's all exposed. I hope that seeing the food being cooked uh, does give people a bit more respect for the ingredients or at least a bit more understanding of the effort that goes into cooking meals day in and day out. I think a lot of times in restaurants you don't ever see really what happens behind the scenes and so you, you have a hard time justifying cost and um, you know value, perceived value for things but I think that for people to see what we're doing here on a you know, on a daily basis from start to finish does start to give you some idea of what's involved in the entire process. And it is a pretty complex operation after all, even with simple food. Brought to you by Cookers, the future of cooking oils.